Sabrina Carpenter in the Mercedes-Benz Summer Event Interview Lounge. I got to tell you, I've been watching you online. I've been stalking your every move, and you are extremely busy. Yeah. Well, How are you? Well, I'm, I'm You're gonna, doing great. No, Congratulations. I'm, on what? On your love life. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> good, good Lord. Well, you know, uh, here's why I have a love life. Because I'm, I'm not as busy as you. Uh, you're still pretty busy. No. I give you a lot of credit, but yeah, I am. I am. There is no time for that right now. <laughs> well, so look, uh, to be driven, to be so so passionate about what you do for a living, every once in a while, you you got to force yourself, Sabrina, to take take a breath and maybe give it a beat. I mean, when's the last time you had like a moment? <sighs> When I was 10 and I went to Disney World. Okay, oh, there you go. Okay, right. well, so, might be time. Right the world. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what would you do with a moment if you got it? A moment? I mean, I'd sleep, yeah. to be quite honest, because, yeah, there's not a lot of that. Um, but I get to, like, luckily, being on the road, like, I get to do nice things. Like, whenever someone's in the city doing a show, I get to go to the show, which I, I love. And I, I think that that keeps me, like, really happy and excited with what I'm doing. Because whenever I see someone live on stage performing, I go, okay, like, this is, this is great because this is what I'm doing, and I yeah. love doing it, and it reminds me of that. Mm-hmm. Um, so I went to the Arctic Monkey Show last night, and that was amazing. Um, but yeah, I get to I like I like to see things that inspire me when I have a time. Nice. Look at that, though. A time, a moment. A I moment. wish a I spoke words. <laughs> but no, no, no. But Sabrina, what's so great, though, is obviously you have found this, this world that you just are so passionate about and so in love with, and that's performing, uh, writing, mm-hmm. right? So you're doing a lot of good stuff too, in addition to that. That, art. like I said, that is is gives me the same effect as going to a concert, like and, and seeing people that inspire me, like those kids. I've been so lucky that as I've been traveling, um, I've hit almost all of the the Seacrest hospitals around um, around the world and gotten to visit so many of the kids. So I mean, that's something that I just love to do. They 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 put everything into perspective. You know what I mean? You know, it wasn't that long ago you were their age. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's it, it and it's it's not that long from now that they'll be at a point where they could be on the road yeah. traveling, doing yeah, their exactly. thing. So you're doing these club these club shows, mm-hmm. which is very unique because you're 19 years old. Yes. And these are clubs where you need to be 21 to, or older to get in. Yes. So, I mean, <laughs> what, these are facts. <laughs> so what mm-hmm. what is the thought there about doing your music in these clubs rather than other venues? I mean. I want my music to play in clubs. So I feel like there's there's this energy that, you know, with the last with the last record that I released, it was very much that kind of a record. Um, and I think that the way that we're hopefully and planning to do it with clubs, it's different like every place you get to. Um, but it's 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 setting a mood and setting a tone. Um, I'm giving them a little, little sneak preview of, of the album, um, which I haven't I haven't done at all yet. So that's been very crazy for me. Cause you know, when it's when it's sitting in your headphones for two years and then finally other people are hearing it and it's like it's you're watching the reactions it's so much weirder than when you just release it and like people are sending you messages online right um so, so doing, that human touch i mean that that, that face-to-face thing is, is yeah. very important for you yeah it's very important of course um and i don't think when they're there in front of you they're going to be like i hate it they're, they're super excited but um but it's nice to see that like initial just like they get so excited and that's that's amazing wow yeah. so it's instant feedback yeah yeah this and that's why I do it in clubs. Yeah. I didn't even answer your question. Yeah. But that's why. Like, no, that answers the question. It, it set the mood. It set the vibe and the tone. Um, and in Canada, I can go to the club. See, this is why we don't do oh, yeah. our show in front of people. Because we don't want to watch them grimace. Yeah. While we're doing it. We don't like, want the instant reaction. Like, oh, God. What a crappy show. <laughs> yeah. We don't want to watch them. Nobody says that. So I was telling I was telling everyone earlier, the first time we met each other was in Las Vegas playing with You puppies. thought I was like... 36. I know. I said, I said, Sabrina, you're great. We were playing with puppies and hanging out yeah. and whatever. I said, listen, you want to go out and have cocktails later? And you looked at me and said, I'm 18. <laughs> I went, yeah. Oh. oh. Which brings me to the video. <laughs> yes. That Before a- that, this is for you. What I just wanted to get you a little, a little oh, Elvis something. Oh, Alex. Yeah. Oh, you bought us a new house. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's what May it was. Put it on there? Sure. Oh, you got us a gift? Yeah, it's a little present. Uh, do, you, uh, do you know? It's I'm, in there. I'm showing my ring. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, he, he, for- little- he forgot his ring this morning, by the way. He oh, almost, did- well, yeah. he got it now. It was That's in his pocket. Matters. By the way, we love cards from Papyrus, don't we? Papyrus. <laughs> um, they're the You're best. Engaged. Oh, Wrote thank you. Dear Elvis, do I want you out loud? Yeah, sure, you can read These it. These are intimate thoughts. And intimate thoughts, but. My dear Elvis. Oh, my dear Elvis. Mm-hmm. Love is the 
best thing in the world. I'm you pretty, read my handwriting. I'm pretty sure. I'm only 19, but I'm almost positive. <laughs> Couldn't be happier for you. All my loving. And uh, congratulations to celebrate your love. I made a donation to the Staten Island Zoo. Yay! Yay! Oh, my God. I love the causes you support. want to support alongside you. Oh, th- hug. Yeah. You're the best. You're the best. You're the best. That was nice. Congratulations. You know, it is... Uh, I, it, is it this week or last week was National Zookeepers Week? So uh, go out and make out week. with a zookeeper. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not engaged. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. I guess I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Thank you. That was very kind Anytime. of you. On behalf of the Staten Island Zoo. You were zoo, saying I you. interrupted you, by the way. Let's get to the video. Yeah. Okay, a friend of mine called and said, did you see the new Sabrina <laughs> Carpenter video? Mm. I went, no. It, it, I knew it was... It, it, so I turned it on and went, whoa, what a glamorous, fun video that must have been to shoot. Yeah. I mean, what, if you haven't seen it, I think, thir- how many people? 13 million? Millions. The focus to me was the red lipstick. That yeah. Vixen red lipstick was yeah. like. Was Which is like, funny because I never ever wear really? red lipstick. So that was like a very important part of the video. And yeah. I think it was more important because I never wear it. So people were like, <laughs> why is she wearing this lipstick? And obviously it turned mental yeah. stone mm-hmm. which is great yeah. look at that yeah don't you love dressing it up yeah absolutely how fun it was fun because it got to be like a little you know like for us it's like our little movies we get to like think up these things and, and bring them to life like when we're writing the song you don't think oh i'm gonna make a video about this later on where i'm gonna turn men to stone you just go oh this is a cool song and like you bring it to life later so when it's all when it's all done it's it's really cool. Now, have any, has anyone come to you and said, or have you heard people talking about the video saying, is she trying to tell us something? <laughs> is this, Do people try to overanalyze yes. song lyrics sometimes and videos sometimes? Yeah. It, so at the end of the day, this video is what? This video is me, and it's it's me growing, and it's but it's it's me currently. Like I think f- for me, the the video represented this new stride of of confidence, which I heard so much in this new music of mine that like I didn't really know how else to, um, how else to bring it to life other than like I I wanted to dance for so long, um, so we wanted to put that into the video. We wanted to create um a story and 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 make it interesting and make it different from how I initially uh, wrote the song, like the way that I, that I wrote the song. So, well, Let's talk about something you just said. You heard, was it the word, the word maturity? You heard growth yeah. in your music. What is that like? I mean, w- it, look, we, we rarely look at ourselves in a mirror and go, oh my God, I'm now this and I wasn't that yesterday. Yo. What is it like as a growing experience to actually acknowledge that your life is evolving you know, it doesn't happen instantly. And that's all I know is that, you know, when I f- first started writing this album, th- the whole goal is is to get to that moment where you go, oh, my gosh, you look back and you go, I didn't realize I changed that much. Um, and I didn't realize that I was holding so much back before uh, because, you know, now you've heard what you can do and you, you wonder how much more you can do that you haven't done yet. So it's exciting for me because I know that it's just it's just the beginning as far as like, you know, that that new sound and growth that, that you'll hear in the music and then you'll hear in the new album. Which is something we can all take away uh, from this interview is it's like how we're almost afraid to study ourselves. Yeah. It's so easy to analyze other people. Right. Pff, it's other people. <laughs> yeah. But when you can see, so true. The, you already mentioned the, the piece of growth you have found in yourself is you're able to open up a little more now. Yeah. Are there other things that you see in yourself? I mean, physically in the mirror? Yeah. Or do you see things? Do you feel things? And are you, is it I'm easy to acknowledge? I'm a teenage girl, yeah. Right. I mean, I'm almost, yeah, I'm almost 20, which is so weird. That's so crazy. It's so old, it's 20. So old. Ew, you're ancient. <laughs> no, but truly, it's, it's you don't real. like, I swear yesterday I was in eighth grade. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's, it goes by so fast. Um, I say that and I'm literally still. The but, older you get, the faster it yep. goes. Really? Yeah. And Good wait till you have kids, because it's even like, you, you blink and they're like going to high school. It's ridiculous. Really? <sighs> I'll babysit, but I don't. (laughs) (laughs) Come on over. (laughs) But see, that's awesome. And like I said, I think that's something that people are afraid to do is acknowledge their growth, acknowledge where they are now versus where they were yesterday in life. And and I'm assuming as an artist, that's the most important thing is self-awareness. Self-awareness. Right. Yeah, and self-discovery. And and I think as a writer, that, that really was a huge part of it. Because in order for me to be able to like, I have to open up 
to the people that I work with and I have to open up every day and kind of ask myself questions on how I feel about things in certain situations in order to be able to like create the right language to solve that problem and solve that situation through the song. Does that right. make sense? No, it does make sense yeah. because in everyday life you have you reassess things now differently than you did 10 years ago. Exactly. Yeah. By the way, Sabrina Carpenter's here. Almost Love is the single and we're going to play that in just a second. Uh, as an artist or as as a human being, we we've all been influenced by songs in our lives. Mm -hmm. And I, I can tell you the What's one What's your song? You have to hit, use headphones for this. Pull up. Uh. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Uh, I'll show you. You're going to think I'm just so gay. Oh. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, I am. I was like Pull up Camelot. Here we go. Oh, Camel? oh. No, okay, here's one. Here's a song that that I'm influenced me. Okay, a song that influenced me when I was a kid. <laughs> and I'll explain why. Okay. It's the trolley song from Meet Me in St. Louis. Oh, clang, oh, clang, so clang with the trolley. Okay. Ding, 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 ding with the bell. Right. Zing, okay. zing, zing went my So heart listening to this music when I was a kid, it turned me onto the world of live theater, of musical of theater. Chug, chug, chug. And of course, you know, it's Judy Garland, which, you know, maybe understand that maybe I like boys. <laughs> well, I did then. I don't like boys now because that's creepy. Anyway, <laughs> keep going, keep going. Well, so you know, oh it, it, well, there's more. Hold on. Yeah. So there, so it, it's through music that when I was a kid that I really started to learn more about myself. I was most influenced by by musicals and things like that. Yeah. So, question, Sabrina yes. Carpenter, l l give me at least. W we'll start with one one song that you remember as a song that helped you define yourself. Uh, the first song for me was At Last by Etta James. Cue the music, everybody. Yeah. Lights, dim the lights, please. Thank you. Nobody dimmed them. That's cool. Um, <laughs> <laughs> pretend they're dimming. Yeah, that's fine. They're dimming, just in your mind. So where were you when you remember first hearing <laughs> Etta James at last? I was eight years old, and uh, my mom played it for me. And it sounded like this. At last. So obviously a big song for your mom. Too. My love has come, come along. Sing so, it. so what was it about li listening to this song when you were a little kid that right, changed because, your life? Because that song you'd feel like for an eight-year-old is like snooze. You know what I mean? Like for them, like it's it's all about like upbeat and um, I think for me that song like people always told me when I was younger they're like you have an old soul and I think that song was just like I don't really know how else to describe it other than it struck a chord in me and it was just beautiful and I sang it all the time and um, and it was like one of the songs that I just took everywhere with me it wasn't like I ever got tired of it I still don't get tired of it I don't think anybody does listen to her voice though yeah she really knows how to hit the soul listen to this my heart was wrapped up in clover Okay, another song you said changed you was Black Velvet by, by, Alana, Miles. by Alana Miles. Yeah. Another smooth, velvety song. Yeah. I love Velvet. <laughs> and her, her voice sounds like Velvet. Yeah. It does. There's a lot of intro. So, I forgot. So this, this song is, is a lot of intro. This song came out in the 90s. Yeah. You were, so before your time. Yeah. So what about this song? Can you, can you explain how this hinged your life into a different direction or how it's inspired you to be who you are today? I think both those songs, what they have in common is that they helped me realize like that I could do so much with music and it wasn't just... It wasn't just like lyric, rhythm, melody, which is like, as a songwriter, that's how you go into every, you know, like that's how I go into it thinking. It's like, oh, I have to write a song. Whereas these songs just felt like... A score to my life yeah. you know what I mean yeah. um, and and they put you they do they make you feel very very confident um, and when you sing them it's like you just picture yourself at a party singing karaoke with a lot of drunk adults and like that's always a moment where you feel very very aware of yourself and very comfortable with yourself Wow listen to the, Danielle these two songs that uh, Sabrina Carpenter yeah. find so important they really have a lot in common they're very very Sultry. They're sultry. sultry. Yeah. Yeah. Dewy. Yeah. Dewy's a great Very word. Dewy. Yeah. Moist. Just kidding. Yeah, Nobody <laughs> likes that word. Everyone yeah, hates that word. I'll only, I'll only use the word moist when describing <laughs> cupcakes. <laughs> anyway. And, and the song at last, Etta James, 1960. Wow. So it it's 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 tr it's a true true uh it's more proof that music is timeless. Music is timeless, yeah. And it, it's helped me so much. And again, every day, like, it's also really cool to hear artists that are, you know, brand new and they're making stuff that feels timeless. You, you know what's 
not to freak you out. Go for but it. But Sabrina, there there are people who are listening to your music who are just not getting into music. And in 30 or 40 years, they're going to be having that. Oh, God. Remember that Sabrina Carpenter song? What was that? Oh, yeah. It was uh, Almost Love. Remember that? And they're going to be having a conversation about you and your music and what it had to do with them and their beginning to their journey. It's, it's, it's a, it's a, it's, you're contributing to the, the art form that contributed to you. That's you what know? I always say, though. I mean, this is the one thing that I'll make that will outlive me. Um, and it's like, and in, in with this, with, with different films that you do, whatever you contribute to the world, and I think art for me was like that huge thing that I was just always passionate about that I knew that at the end of the day and you know a lot of people have incredible jobs and you know mine happens to be this and it it contributes to the world in in a way that um, hopefully can um, bring out emotions in people and help them realize things about their own lives and um, help them make decisions in their own lives like you don't I I know that that's what it's done for me other people's music so I hope mine can do the same for someone else well as busy and wonderful as you are cranking out some incredible art Sabrina Carpenter I do hope you do take some time in each of these wonderful, fascinating cities. Where do you want to go? Visit. Where should we go? Well, I know, but I, I just, you, I, I, I'm hoping you find more time to like do <laughs> things you. with yourself and with your friends and Thank your family. You. It'll but, be. I mean, I'm looking forward to it. We'll see what happens. I'll probably go to Disney World again at some point. <laughs> All right, there you go. Yeah. Oh. Do you do you? When was the last time you went to Disney World? I was. Uh, oh, last time I went, I was probably like last year. Why? Well, do you ever? Get, Look, you know, the cool are you gonna thing play is, It's a Small World? I swear, if you no, play no, that, well, okay, even, even worse. <laughs> okay, the, the thing about Disney World is <laughs> there are new parts of Disney World that, that are fun and festive, but there are also the old original parts. Where's the Tiki Lab? Oh, scary. Where is Hold it? Hold on, it's coming up. Hold Did on. you ever? What's the name of the Tiki? The Tiki Lab? Room. Tiki Did you ever go to the Tiki Room? Yeah, with the, all the parrots and the birds. With, that with sing, the, the, the animatronic parrots and things. See, this is what kids don't go do. No. The kids don't go to the friggin' Tiki Room. Are you good? What what are you we're talking about? Hold on. You got to put the headphones on here. Oh. This is the actual soundtrack from the Tiki Room. And while you're over there in line for the Haunted Mansion, <laughs> which is fabulous. I'm over, I'm over at the Tiki Room. Hold on. Oh, 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 oh. It's it's the soundtrack they play 45 times a day. Tiki 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 Room in the Tiki 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 Room. All the birds sing work and the flowers bloom in the Tiki Tiki Tiki. Promise me when you go to Disney World. I will never get this out of my head. Do you realize that? You lucky people you. Oh, so you're going to the Tiki Room. All the birds come to life and start singing at you. I mean, it's like this. It's very cool. I believe it's closest thing to like tripping out. But what's wrong with the Haunted Mansion? You know, we love Haunted Mansion. We love Haunted Mansion. Welcome, foolish mortals, to the Haunted Mansion. I am your host, your ghost host. Why? Why? Your Ghost host. Well, <laughs> that's I, beautiful. I do hope you know if you're gonna have a few moments or a few maybe a day to take away from work. Disney World is the yeah. way, this is the way to do it. And the it. Tiki yeah. Room is great when it's raining outside. And okay, <laughs> where is the Tiki Room? Is it Animal Where, Kingdom? It, I don't know. No, no, it's it's at Magic it's Kingdom. Kingdom. It's oh, in Magic really? Kingdom in Disney World. I don't know about oh, in it's Disneyland. Adventure Land. Adventure Land. That's- Thank you so you, much. You know what? We can analyze you by the world you don't hang out in. Yeah. You're, you need to go to Adventureland. Okay. The land of tomorrow. You've been there. Tell me where else I need to go. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I'm just trying to help out. Sabrina, <laughs> Sabrina, thank you for coming by. Sabrina Carpenter, of course, almost love. Now, you talk about this album. Before you leave, when do we think the album may be out? This year, for sure. This year. Well, I, I released, many months to go. Yeah, many months to go. I released a, a trailer earlier this year, which was kind of like my way of um, hinting at what was coming and um, was able to kind of bring it to life visually. Again, I think a lot of this a lot of this album to me has started to feel very um, cinematic in a way, just tying everything from my life into one. And so we created this trailer that um, released the album name, which is Singular, um, and it'll come out later this year. What month is this? It is July. All right. Well, we have. <laughs> but there's more coming before then. Don't. I'm uh, not. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna you'll, let some stuff trickle out. I'm gonna let okay. some stuff trickle out. All right. We're trickling. <laughs> I hate right, that word. Well, so moist and trickle. <laughs> trickle. <laughs> trickling. You know what? God. I'm, I'm trying. You know, I try to use new, different, <laughs> exciting words. Oh boy. Uh, all right. So. Sabrina Carpenter, Almost Love. I'm going to play it right now. Thank you for coming in. Thank you Thank for your you, generous, your generous uh, gift. I appreciate that. Sabrina Carpenter. Woo!